When the area for the rack location is determined, you will need the following tools to design and lay out your project. First, a tape measure. Second, a laser. These lasers have improved greatly over the years, and now they are relatively inexpensive. As this video demonstrates, it is very easy to use and has an accuracy up to a sixteenth of an inch. At the center of these tools is AutoCAD. The CAD stands for Computer Aided Design and Drafting. AutoCAD is used across a wide range of industries by architects, project managers, engineers, and other professionals. It is an indispensable tool for the material handling industry. Let's see how AutoCAD can not only help you save time, but make sure that your layout will be as accurate as possible. If the area for your rack project was as simple as shown here, a rectangle with some columns and one opening, this would not be any problem for you to go out in the field and get the area measurement. Your AutoCAD operator could then take your sketch, draw the area, and insert the rack layout. Now imagine if you have a project of this size as shown here in AutoCAD. This is what we call an AutoCAD model space, which is our drawing board. If you had to measure this building area to locate dock doors, doorways, and irregularities in the shape of the building, even with your laser, it would take you who knows how long. However, if the customer has and most of the larger and newer facilities do, this would facilitate not only the time but the accuracy of your rack project. So now the AutoCAD operator does not have to spend the time literally hours just drawing the building area. He can now insert the rack layout. He can add and subtract rows with ease. Rack elevations are also shown in model space. When the drawing is complete, we can go into paper space so that a paper copy can be generated from a plotter. Because AutoCAD is accurate to a sixteenth of an inch, if we have an accurate drawing of a floor plan, then we can make sure that everything we design fits exactly where we want it. The key takeaway, and we cannot emphasize this enough, Try to get a building drawing in AutoCAD from the customer. If for some reason it is unavailable, get a PDF or actual drawings that can be scanned. It is not as easy as having it in a AutoCAD file, but it is possible to copy, insert, and scale the drawing in AutoCAD. In the next video, we will show you what to look for when verifying dimensions in the field, hopefully with an AutoCAD drawing in your hand.